This is a much better version of the Royce. I, I almost don't even care how the fight ends. I just love this attitude that he's bringing. Oh, Beautiful timing time on time. that takedown. Wow. Oh, nice. Hey. Nice uppercut, lead uppercut from Deroish. Tries it again. John Mitchell counters with the left. Body kick. <laughs> For your winner, via unanimous decision and clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship, John Mitchell. Nice. That's the second time Kasuba's just kicked the shin bone of two. I was going to say the same thing. Very interesting. Now he's got what he wants. Got him up against the fence. This is where Dylan Tuke doesn't want to be. To the left leg first, and then again with those long limbs. After he got Kasuba off balance, he started to hunt that. Hard to score this last round, but I've got to lean towards Kasuba here. He's landed good shots on the break. Oh, right that was hand, a good right. right hand. Nasty. Oh, good and knee. knee. You got him hurt. Can he complete the takedown? Seven. All for your winner, clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship. Jakob Kashuba! You look good. I'll, I'll bring you out after. Yes, uh, that's hey, a fun. Hey, hey. <laughs> Power body kick. That'll drain your gas tank. Fast hand. Oh! oh good right from oh, Alambo! Oh! oh no, high kick. Benkasi's still in a little bit of trouble here. Steadying himself. So you're probably not going to catch him with the first strike. You're going right. to catch him with the second or the third. Oh, He's a good set and done against Franz Malambo, who uses that. Oh! Great time in there for Malambo. Both of these guys so quick. Good movement here. And a oh! Gage for your winner by a split decision in clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship. Franz Malambo! That was an uppercut, but Kokorov. He's on a neck, he's on a guillotine. himself out of it for now. A dropping right hand, and now Kokorov wailing away. No! Kokorov pounding away. Talev refusing to fall. <laughs> I wonder what, he's, what Kakarov's recollection of the first round is, though, and how much oh. it feels like he, he has to win this, second, this uh, last round. That right hand just got yeah. the attention. All for your winner. By unanimous decision in clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship. Caution, Kakarov! December 8th in Dublin, Caution, Kakarov, France Malambo with $100,000 and a PFL Europe Championship belt on the line. Not only boxer. Yeah. <laughs> Such long limbs for this weight class as well, and she utilized them so well nice. with that jab. But this is a good takedown for home. Beautiful work. Nice scramble though from Bitchava. Cornelia Holm. Try and catch her on the way in or potentially focus on takedown defense. Oh, oh right hand. What a right hand that was. It's a laser. She always hits her target. The physicality on her, but you know, in order for it to be so so long and rangy oh. in weight class. She has to stay on point with her condition. After being dropped, good jab again from Dakota Dicheva. Cornelia Holm, very difficult to put away. Oh! Yeah. Oh! A power oh! Right. Oh! 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 Dakota Dicheva with the third round finish! Dakota Dicheva! I like that from him. There's a left hook lands for Ladero. Simeon Powell on the retreat. He's landed three of those sharp calf kicks. Oh! Here's a big flurry from the Spaniard. I have to say, Ladero does look more confident in his striking. Force oh. in the openings. There it is. Don't wait for it. There you go. Soon he starts letting his hands go. He starts having success. This is what you needed to see from Simeon Powell. Oh! Starting to land. Seven for your winner by unanimous decision and clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship, Simeon Pau! Swing and a miss there for Anthony Salomon. Oh! oh! Jakob Neto down on top of Salomon, pounding away! And Godard waves it off! Wow. Jakob Neto in the first round! 
and clinching their place in the PFL Europe Championship, Jakob Neto. Be serious. You talked about not just his ability to submit, but the variety of yeah. his submission. Whatever he sees, he goes for that. He, he won his last six in a row all by finish. Lazy King in the black trunks, Brad Wheeler in the gray. Showcase bout. Oh, and McClinched. What he wants. Oh, the power is Lazy King King down. Drives Wheeler into the cage. He just keeps switching sides, switching the grip on his legs. There's the body lock. And now on the palm. Can he finish it right here? There's the short choke, that's tight. Oh, that's gonna get that's up. It. It. Wow. First round finish for the Lazy King. Wow. One, declaring your winner to a submission by a rear naked choke. Abdul, Abdul Ragimo. Dan Hardy, I'm here with the Lazy King. I suppose all of us should bow down. What an incredible performance. You got him to the ground. You started to chain together the submission attempts. Did you know the rear naked was going to be the one? He was, uh, he surprised me. He was really calm and collected. He's really a good fighter, you know, because he wasn't uh, stressed and so, so I was a little bit surprised at the beginning because he, he wasn't, you know, uh, uh, running away from the fight. So that's why at the beginning I was a little bit, you know, hesitating, but after, I saw at the ground it was uh, not so difficult to take the positions. And he defended very well, but then it was done. So I'm happy now. <laughs> well, you, you call yourself the Lazy King because you like to be efficient. You don't waste energy on the ground, and that's what the top grapplers in the world do. Do you have the best jujitsu in the sport of mixed martial arts right now? I would say one of the best, maybe, but. I'm not going to tell that I'm the best, you know, because a lot of good uh, other fighters in the world, so one of the best, maybe. <laughs> what do you think of this Paris crowd? Everybody excited to see you. Thank you for everybody. Merci beaucoup à tout le monde. Woo! Lazy show, ladies and gentlemen. And soon it's going to come to the United States of America. Well, Dan Hardy was just talking about that is the plan to move into the PFL global season and chase a $1 million championship. Yes, that's the plan. Like I said, it's step by step. So this one is done. Alhamdulillah. So the next step is going to be the first fight at the lightweight tournament in the USA at the 2024 tournament. At lightweight? Yes, at lightweight. Because I'm a lightweight category, but I always fought at welterweight. But I'm a lightweight, you know. Abdul Abdurragimov, congratulations. All hail the Lazy King! What a natural born superstar. Southpaw stance for Zebo. Is that low stance from Cedric? Oh! oh! Are you kidding What? Over! What? Knockout for Dubai! So there's the head kick from Zebo. Low kick and a hook hook from Cedric Dumbay. Like lightning. Catches the kick, returns with a low kick and then hook, oh, hook. Two shots to the chin in no time at all. The precision. Bap. Incredible. Bap. Wow. Do we have the official time yet? Wow. Declaring your winner via knockout, Cedric the Best Dumbe. Cedric Dumbe, victorious. It took all of nine seconds for you to make a statement here in the PFL Smart Cage. You caught the kick, you landed the left hook, and then the right after it. 
Is this how you envisioned your PFL debut? <laughs> hey. First of all, for French people, hey, je vous avais dit quoi? Y a personne qui peut me tester, moto. Car en premier round, on n'en parle plus. Des matchs putain, ils regardent les skis. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, that's one of my best preparation uh, I ever did in this combat sport, and um, I feel I feel very great, very great. I feel on shape, everything right settled. You know, to to knock him out. I knew I knew that I would knock him out. Of course, I didn't knew that it would take 10 seconds, but I, I was pretty sure that he, he wouldn't pass the first round. So that's why I expect, of course. I want, to, I want to turn toward the monitor here. I want that replay to run again, and I want you to walk me through this entire fight. You know, this is my specialty. You know, I'm a kickboxer, and all the time when someone kicked me on the body or high kick on the head, I used to, you know, to trap his, you know, to take his leg and counter with the right or all the time with the left. So, you know, he just came into it, and that was easy, easy. You acknowledged that this was the most pressure that has been put on a fight, right? You sold out this arena. Everyone's here to see you. Everyone expected you to dominate, and you delivered. What does that say about you, that you can deliver on all of this hype? Can you repeat? Can you repeat? What does it say about you that under all of this pressure, you came through with that performance? You know, I have more than 80 fights. 80 fight. <laughs> I have no other anti fight, and uh, you know I used to to fight against uh, such a big crowd like this. I you know I did kickboxing championship in front of more than 20,000 people. I used I used to have the, the this type of pressure even more than that. You know I fought when I fought back in the day. Nicky Holskin he was undefeated. I fought Mitch Grona, uh, Yohan Kongolo, big guys. You know strong guys. The pressure was insane. And now, you know, Jordan Zibo is not the level, same level as them. The pressure was high because of, you know, big people right there. You know, Gims, Kiki dans la maison, all the, you know, the PSG team. Salah, Jean Parnas, eh, excusez-moi, j'oublie tout le monde, Blackie. Eh, hey, y'a trop de gens, gros. I, I forgot, I forgot some people, but, you know, the pressure is high. Everybody is watching this fight, you know. So that's why, you know, but all the time, I'm the best who made the West win. All right. You're now 5-0 and oh as a professional mixed martial artist. So what's next for the best? For the best, you know, it doesn't matter what some people used to say, I never decline a fight. Peu importe ce que, de, que des gens disent, jamais je refuse un combat, poto. I never decline a fight. So anyone, I don't have to call out anybody because I'm the best. They have to call me out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> So next for me, you know, it doesn't matter. I think, I will not say I want the bet right now. I wanna, I wanna, you know, I wanna add something in my highlight, you know, I want more knockout in my highlight. So, same power force, I don't want uh, the bet right now. <laughs> Are you ready right now to jump into the PFL global season and chase the $1 million championship? Oh, they're ready for me if I jump in the, <laughs> in the tournament. I'm always ready, I was ready. Can I say something in French? Please do. Les gars, c'est une dinguerie. Pourquoi n'a-t-il pas vérifié les angles morts? Pourquoi n'a-t-il pas vérifié les angles morts? Eh, franchement, juste, seriously. Sorry, I want to say this for Jordan Zibo. J'ai envie de dire ça pour Jordan. Eh, lui, il a rien à voir dans ça. Vous savez très bien qui a pris ce chaos. C'est pas Jordan. Vous savez très bien qui a pris ce KO. Celui qui a pris ce KO, c'est celui qui frappe sa femme, qui frappait son ex-femme. C'est lui qui vient me prendre un KO. Voilà. Donc, Jordan, a lot of respect for Jordan. Jordan is a good fighter. He's very young. Jordan, il est très jeune. Là, ce que je lui ai dit, what did, why, why, do I, why did I, I told him? I told him that he's, he's still young, you know. I want him to forget this, uh, this defeat, you know. I hit hard. I'm very strong. I'm stronger than him. I, I want him to forget. Je lui ai dit, hey, gros, oublie cette défaite. Je me la raconte pas, mais je frappe trop fort. Je suis trop fort que toi. Je suis plus fort que toi. Non, sérieux. Je lui ai dit, je suis plus fort que toi. Oublie cette défaite. 
Je veux surtout pas que tu arrêtes de t'entraîner. Tu as des capacités de fou. Continue de t'entraîner. Écoute tes coachs. Et ce que je demande, est-ce que je demande, c'est, je veux pas que cette défaite, elle t'abatte. Les gens, ils vont continuer de t'encourager. Les gens, ils ont rien contre toi. Oui, on a crié, Jordan, t'es mort. Mais on va continuer de l'encourager. We still support Jordan. Et ce que je vous demande, c'est tout le monde sur les, sur les réseaux sociaux. Je veux que personne l'éteigne. S'il vous plaît, envoyez-lui de la force sur les réseaux sociaux. Allez le follow. Demain, si vous voulez, vous le follow. Mais voilà, c'est un bon gars, Jordan. Allez donner de la force. Enfin, c'est un bon gars. Je sais pas, mais voilà. On dirait. Congratulations. It was an honor to call the fight. Cedric Dubé, ladies and gentlemen.